everybody, welcome back to the family channel. Hello. We hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday so far. It is finally Friday. We've made it through the week, guys, and I hope you've had an awesome one. If you haven't had a good week, uh, you can kick it in the guts because it's now Friday and you can enjoy the weekend with friends and family, yeah. which is what we are going to do. Um, today we are reacting to the youngest living Medal of Honor recipient, Kyle Carpenter's story. And this is a, it's, it's like partially a request. Thumper emailed me asking me to do a few videos and I saw the thumbnail and one of them had uh, Kyle Carpenter on and I've been meaning to do this video for so long now uh, that I thought Kat and I would watch this one first before we get to Thumper's one. Um, so Thumper, I hope you don't mind, but we will get to yours tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but I thought the backstory of this would help us with the video we're going to yeah. do tomorrow, if that makes sense. So yeah, we're going to be checking that one out, uh, checking this one out. But before we get into today's video, if you guys haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra frisky, you may as well give the video a like as well. We haven't did, uh, decided yet, but we may go live tomorrow night um, because it is Saturday. The kids are on summer holiday. So hopefully they'll be well rested tonight, even though Leia's got a sleepover in the garden. And I'm not yeah. sure how that's going to go. Why are you pulling faces? Have we got uh, plans tomorrow? No, we don't have plans tomorrow, but apparently tomorrow is going to be extremely hot day. Tomorrow, so maybe we so. won't be going live because it is extremely hot in this room. I know I keep banging on about it, but it is. But we'll see how it yeah, goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Because maybe when we go on live, we can leave the window open. Yeah. And then if it gets too noisy, people get us to close the window. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's check out the Youngest Living Medal of Honor recipient. I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to uh, devote my life, my body, if need be, to something greater than myself or any one individual. In 2010, I deployed with 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines to Marja, Afghanistan. We were constantly attacked, just like we were every single day for the entire deployment. The fighting was very intense, and it wasn't a matter of, okay, is it gonna happen, but just a matter of when. Myself and an amazing uh, friend and fellow Marine, Lance Corporal Nick Euphrasio, we were on top of that roof together. We were near the end of our four hour post position on top of the roof when the enemy initiated a daylight attack with hand grenades. felt like I got hit really hard in the face. My vision was as if I was looking at a TV with no connection. It was just white and gray static. I thought about my family and how devastated they were going to be, especially my mother, that I didn't make it home from Afghanistan. And uh, I closed my eyes and I faded out of consciousness for what I thought was gonna be my last time on this earth. Pause before he gets talking more how calm is his voice though yeah. when he's talking about such a traumatic thing i think he must have like come to terms like with what, what a happened, freaking like, legend though the way he's still like, it's like jeez uh, and the, it's funny how un, like you know like i don't know i've never come so close but you would think like you'd be scared for yourself but he's just thinking of how upset his mom's gonna be yeah which is Holy smokes. Be my last time on this earth. Oh, when he says that, it gives me chills. Five weeks later. <laughs> oh my gosh. My injuries were so severe that still nine years later, um, it's hard to comprehend that I survived. future generations not everyone has the freedoms and the peace uh, 
and the chance and hope for democracy that we have here. Don't go through every day. People will get frustrated that I'm pausing, but like that's so true, isn't it? How often do we take things for granted that we have? We've got it every day. We don't have to fight anybody for, you know, like yeah. we've got the rights that we have because these guys like this put their, literally put their lives on the line yeah. for us to have the freedoms and the rights that we have. And it's really sad, actually, that pe people really stop appreciating it. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. they forgot actually what the freedom is about. Well, like, I, re uh, I remember a few years ago in the UK when we were still living there and it was uh, like poppy day. Yeah. And there were people burning the poppies and stuff, which were for World War is it World War II. Yeah. Yeah. And it, that just infuriated me because the reason that they are able to do that is because of the men and women who died. Yeah. It, like, this is what frustrates me. We in this house have got a huge appreciation for all military personnel and people who go out there and literally risk their lives for us every single day. So this guy, and he's so calm. The way he I speaks. Know, it's like, like his mindset is just like, He's I'm like a born... Like, yeah. Awesome. The chance and hope for democracy that we have here. Don't go through every day just thinking that we're just here because we're here. You know, we got here because of um, incredible amounts of courage and sacrifice. The medal represents all who have raised their right hand and sworn to give their life, if called upon, for their country. It represents those who have never made it home to receive the thanks and recognition they deserve. Those who charged the beaches in World War II, froze while fighting in Korea, bled out across the lush fields of Vietnam, and those who never made it home because of another deadly blast in the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. Those who were tortured for years in prisoner of war camps and those who still rest in distant lands forever remaining missing in action. The medal represents the parents, husbands, wives, and loved ones who have heard the dreaded knock on their front doors to find a telegram or service member delivering the unbearable news. This is where the true weight of the medal is carried. Being a Medal of Honor recipient is a beautiful burden, but one I am honored to carry. What a heroic thing wow, to do, what eh? A story. And selfless. He just threw himself on a grenade and he doesn't even remember it. Yeah. But they've gone and reviewed it and that's what's happened. What a freaking awesome bloke. I'd love to say mm -hmm. I would do the same thing, but yeah. you never know, do you? Yeah. Flipping it, man. Like But that, like you can tell like his heart was just there. Well like that's it. Uh, when he made that pledge to give yeah. his life, he, he would. Flipping heck, what an awesome story. Um, like it's incredible. I could and watch the stuff way like he this. talks about it, like the way he he had this speech, it's like it's Yeah. Like you just In awe. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to find the words, I know. Is he, yeah. I could watch stories like this all day every day because I just find it amazing how brave somebody somebody can be and selfless. Like he was yeah. willing to give his life. Yeah. Even though, like he said, it would break his mother's heart to save his mate did, essentially yeah his brother on the roof with and him I, like it took him so long to recover like and you he know? he doesn't sound like he's bitter or resentful Nothing. he's just like, got that same calm voice mm, what a legend mu he must be feeling like i've done the right thing well yeah you know <laughs> I tell you what, it, well, definitely he did the true right hero, thing, true hero, definitely a true hero. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, on yeah. that note, what an awesome video. Uh, I'm hoping the one Thumper sends, it, we, we'll, we've got some backstory yeah. now, so we'll be doing that one tomorrow. Um, but yeah, what an, I love these videos. So if you've got any more like this sort of thing, I'd like to show Kat the 
SEAL Team 6 video where they rescued Jessica, I think it was Jessica. Um, that's another awesome story. You should check that. We will check that one out together. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have got any suggestions, please feel free to send them in. Stick them down in the comments or email us or whichever you'd like to do, whichever is easier. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, we hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. We may see you live tomorrow, depending on heat, <laughs> which is a weird thing to depend on. Uh, I actually looked at an uh, air conditioner yesterday and they are pricey little things for like a portable one. We don't want to get anything permanent at the moment yeah. because we're going to be renovating the house soon but yeah we'll see what happens anyway thank you guys so much for watching we hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we will see you in the next video bye, bye.